And Lord, we thank you for the victory by which we had overcome 2,000 years ago. As we command the morning, we call for the reality and the evidence of this victory and decree and declare this day in the name of our Lord Jesus that everyone that is struggling with the mystery of these truths that the word of revelation that you receive today indeed shall shift you into the dimensions of an overcomer in the name of our Lord Jesus hear me people this morning a man that must win a battle must understand who the enemy is if you don't know who your enemy is, you don't understand his territory, you don't understand his strategy, you don't understand his backup power, you don't understand how you yourself will strategize, then you are not prepared for that warfare. And I believe this is largely and chiefly how the enemy has been taking advantage of the church. I believe God today to reposition us that we recognize that we are seated in the heavenlies. Even before we start the battle, we are not fighting from the earth realm. We are positioned in the heavenlies. We are seated far above principalities and powers at every category that you want to look at it. We are in an advantage position. But if you start fighting from what you know and you start fighting from the way you feel and what you think by yourself without bringing in the God factor, then you will understand that you are not fighting flesh and blood. And for that reason today, we are going to start laying foundations. Such foundations that will help you to understand that in this battle, it didn't begin with you. The Bible began from the book of Revelation, from chapter 12, from verse 7, the Bible said, war broke out in heaven. Listen to me, whatever is the battle did not begin with you, it was a battle that broke out where? In heaven. And the Bible said, war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. It wasn't today that the powers of the dragon spirit began to fight humanity. The battle did not start today. The battle between the dragon and the woman has always been there. The battle between the dragon and the seed of the woman has always been there. From the time of Eve, that was when the battle began. And in the book of Revelation from chapter 12, we saw the woman who was to give birth, the dragon coming again to defraud the seed of the woman. The means that the dragon will use to destroy the seed of the woman may change from generation from generation. But the dragon is always after the seed of the woman. And that was why when Moses was to be born, there was yet a pharaoh that was ready to make sure that the seed of deliverance of the hour that was coming in the person of Moses be destroyed. How did Moses escape? When Jesus was also to come, the demon came in the nature of Herod. That same dragon, speaking through Herod in deception, when you have gone to see the child, come and let me know. So I will go and honor the child. Does that sound like the language of the Chinese men that are in Nigeria? They never mean well. The dragon never mean well. And I believe that it's time for the church to understand the spirit. The battle must be won in this season from the realm of the spirit. The Bible says that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. It's sharper than two-edged sword. There is a sword that is of the spirit. And there's a sword that is in the physical. And we must come to understand that the battles of our season are not going to be fought with physical sword. You're not going to fight and continue to win your personal battle if you continue with the physical sword. Right in the presence of God, what broke out in heaven? 
Michael was the one that fought with his angels. God cannot fight with the dragon. The dragon is too small for God to fight with him. God is too much to fight with a creation. Listen, the devil is an angel, a fallen creature created by God. And the Bible says, when war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought so the battle was between the dragon and his angels and Michael and his angels and the Bible made us to understand from Revelation from chapter 12 from verse 8 as I speak to men today who will understand they are conquerors the Bible said but they did not prevail hear me the dragon cannot prevail as long as the battle is fought from the heavenly realm the dragon did not prevail the dragon can never prevail battles that are fought from the realm of the spirit the dragon lost the battle from the realm of the spirit don't fight the dragon from the earth realm. If you want to win the dragon, you must fight him in the spiritual realm. The Bible said, for they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in the heaven anymore. The devil has no place in the heavens. A child of God that is in the heavens, the devil can have no place in your life. The devil cannot stop you if you are seated in the heavenless. If your vision is in the heavenless. If a nation is in the heavenless. If your family is in the heavenless. If your children is in the heavenless. If your soul is in the heavenless. If your mind is in the heavenless. If the things around you are in the heavenless. I tell you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The devil can no longer prevail over your life. It's where you are that determines what prevails over you. It is what you believe. It is the things you say, the things you do, how you go about your life that will determine that level of your victory.